Hey everyone, Rusty here at Blue Robotics. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use the vacuum pump to do a vacuum test on your watertight enclosure or ROV to make sure that it's sealed properly. Today we're gonna to be using this hand-operated vacuum pump, which has a gauge on top here to show vacuum pressure, and this one has two vacuum plugs that plug into the enclosure. Uh, if you're just testing a single enclosure, then you just need one of these plugs, but when you're testing the ROV, you need two. Uh, we've gotta test both enclosures on here at the same time because there's an air connection between the two, and if we just test one, air will leak from one into the other and make the test invalid. Before we actually start the test on the ROV, we've got to make sure that our test setup is working properly. If this thing is leaking, then we're definitely going to have a failed test over here on the ROV. Uh, to do that, the vacuum pump comes with these two rubber plugs. We're going to insert these into the ends of the vacuum plugs, one and two here, give them a little twist just to keep them in place, and then pump this a few times to increase the vacuum level. I'm going to about, let's see, a couple pumps there got me a little bit over 20 inches of mercury on the test. Uh, we're gonna keep it there for just a minute or two, make sure that we don't see any big loss in pressure. Any, any problems that are happening here are gonna happen very quickly since we have such a small volume of air in these tubes. A few moments later. All right, it's a few minutes later and we haven't lost any pressure, so we're gonna keep going with the test. On the back of the ROV, uh, we've got two vent ports. Uh, these are actually a pressure relief valve on the back of this ROV, so we're going to remove both of those. Those are the blue plugs. Make sure you set those aside, uh, but in a safe, clean place, and you don't lose them. And then plug in the vacuum. Plugs one on top here, one on the bottom. There we go and then we're going to pump this to vacuum. The ROV here has a lot of volume in its two enclosures and we're pumping them to vacuum at the same time. So this is gonna take a while, probably a little over 300 pumps. A few minutes later. Okay, we've got the pressure to uh, about 15 inches of mercury on the vacuum. It took me 314 pumps to get there. Uh, and now we're just gonna sit and wait. We're gonna wait about 10 minutes to make sure that it doesn't lose any of its vacuum pressure in the meantime. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, 10 minutes later, we're still at 15 inches of mercury on the vacuum gauge, so we can be pretty confident that we're not losing any pressure and that if we put this ROV in the water, we're gonna have a good experience. If you do see an appreciable loss in vacuum pressure during this test, then you're gonna wanna check for loose penetrators, missing or uh, improperly installed O-rings, uh, improperly enclosed enclosures, or even a cut or tear in a cable jacket. Other than that, you should be ready to dive your ROV. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.